President Trump last night calling the radical Dems open border policies an attack on the American middle class. And our first guest tonight has been at the forefront of the immigration enforcement battle for decades. Tom Holman, former acting director of Immigration and Customs Enforcement, also Fox Business contributor. Tom, good to see you. Uh, and it could not be much sweeter for President Trump than what he managed to do in the first 24 official hours of his reelection campaign. And today, official word from the Mexican government uh, dispatching 6,500 National Guard troops to their southern border with Guatemala, uh, to this point, carrying out the deal that uh, Lopez Obrador and President Trump made. It's working. Your thoughts? I think it is working. I think the American people are, are catching on that, you know, there's the Democratic leadership, remember they said there's no caravans. Uh, there was a manufactured crisis. Uh, the president, uh, the, the, the threat of terrorists was a terrible idea. This president keeps winning on this issue because he's been right from the start. And I think the American people are not, are not fools. They see the film, they see the data, and they're concerned about our southern border. And I think that helped for this huge 24, 25 million dollars. I think the Americans are saying, you know what? We need this president to finish the job he started because Congress isn't helping him, the courts ain't helping him, so let's help this president do what he's promised the American people he'd do. Yeah, let's be straightforward about this. President Trump has single-handedly taken on the issues of illegal immigration and border security, and he is prevailing. Uh, he now, it appears, has a reliable partner. Early days, I acknowledge. But a reliable partner, perhaps, in Lopez Obrador, and if so, that is, uh, as you have said for some time, a significant, quote-unquote, game-changer, uh, a game that needs to change. Uh, you have also been driving uh, the, the issue of interior enforcement, without which there can be uh, no, su no lasting success. Uh, your reaction to the president's uh, statement that he, he'll bring... Uh, millions of uh, those who have been ordered uh, removed from this country that uh, ICE will be uh, removing them from the country. What about that concept? Well, I think, yeah, you and I have been talking about this for months, Lou. I, I've been saying ICE needs to get out there and, and, and execute final orders issued by federal judges. You know, let's remember the Democratic lawmakers stood on the border in, 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 in uh, San Diego when, this, when the first caravan came, and they were screaming and yelling, they have a right to claim asylum, they have a right to see a judge. Okay. And they've had that right, they've had that due sure. process, a great taxpayer expense, and a federal judge says you must leave. But nobody's leaving. So ICE is going to do what they do every day, but they're going to do a lot more of it. The president right. understands this is a needed consequence of deterrence. We are a nation of laws, and we need to respect those laws. So I think this is going to also, with the assistance of Mexico, help drive the numbers on the border down, because as I've told you before, I did it four right. years ago, and it worked. This president recognizes it. The president wants ICE to do their job. And, it, and, I, and I said on my op-ed on Fox News, the Democrats is, are going to raise hell, and they're going to start screaming and yelling, even though in FY15, I didn't hear a, a peep out of them. Yeah, it, it didn't take long for you to be proved right again uh, with, with your uh, uh, column, your article on Fox News. Uh, there's another part of this that I, I find fascinating. Uh, the president said instead of we're going to be deporting or removing uh, these uh, illegal immigrants who have had due process and are under a, a court, uh, a judge's order to leave, he didn't say we're going to be uh, uh, doing so with hundreds or thousands, as would be the temptation for the politicians uh, in Washington of both parties. He said, we're going to be doing, we talked about millions. Uh, and good for him, because everybody was uh, wanting to quibble over whether millions could be removed. Indeed, the issue is their removal. Uh, I thought it was a brilliant uh, uh, tact on his part. Yeah, look, I, I think, look, we know there's over 12 million illegal aliens here. We know there's at least 100,000 family units that right. have not shown up in court. And once, we, once they're removed, it's going to send a clear message to Central America. I think that, that works. And I think, look, I, I, one thing I want to address, I've read in the media that, sure. you know, 
that Trump Trump took down an Oakland mayor for you know talking about an operation before it happened. I want I want to make something perfectly clear. What the Oakland mayor did mm -hmm. is give information on a specific operation happened in her city the very next day that mm -hmm. targeted criminal aliens. These are people in the country illegally that were convicted of crimes. Right. So you know, given advance notice to a criminal that the police are coming, it's far different. The president says, "I'm going to have ICE step up what they do every day across the country, mm -hmm. and we're going to target Maine's." Big difference. It's apples and oranges, and of course, but yeah. that's all they got. All they got is, is to make you know hay out of something that, that doesn't make sense at all. Uh, as the saying goes, if that's all they got, they've got nothing. Tom, thanks so much. We appreciate you for being here.